Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to create a Gantt chart completely from scratch. I won't cut the video so that you can follow each and every step. It will be really easy, you'll see. And yeah, please consider subscribing. This is my first video and I plan on making many more, but I would really, really appreciate it if you could help me get through these subscriber count wall as youtubers have and, and yeah i would really appreciate it if you could just subscribe and, and yeah if you if you want you can also stick to the end if you like the content you can you can decide whether you want to subscribe or not so yes let's just get started without further ado so first thing we want to do here is let's add four columns we'll call the first one activity Second one will be starting date. This one will be duration. And we can just have an end date. Or we can have the end date here. And then here, duration. So let's just, like, let's make this bold right here. And we'll just call this for now, activity one two, three, and so on. Let's do 10 activities. And we'll make these rows larger, like this. So the starting date, for, and I'll also remove the grid lines. So the starting date for the first one will be to tomorrow, Monday. And we'll just make these starting dates be this plus the duration of this activity and so on so for this one we'll add this duration for this one this other duration and so on and let's make this duration two days let's specify this is counting in days two days three days two days, one day, five days, nine days, one day, two days, three days, three days again. And now let's put in the dates. Let me put an extra row here and the dates would be here. So I'll make this um, just today's date or tomorrow's day actually, date actually. So I have this and then I keep on going like this, let's just cover this up. And here I'll have I'll have the the month and the date. Like this. And I'll just take the entire month of August. So everything up to August. 31 let me move this to the center and everything else as well not the activities actually and then here what I'll have let me move this one row down is conditional formatting so all this will be done by conditional formatting and first I'll place a formula so if and so this if and that means i'm gonna to have two propositions that will be evaluated to see if both are true and if it is true it'll i'll assign it a value so if this date is greater than this date, comma, so now the other logic. And if this date is less than this date, and I'll, I'll have to make it greater or equal, less than or equal, then what I would like to happen is I would like to get an X here. 
you'll see, you will see how, what we will do with that. So now we have this. And if that's not true, then I just want it to be left empty. So if I try to drag this to the right and down, you'll see how the formula get messed up because I have these reference. So I, have, I just need to fix the references. Like, let's say, for example, this C4, I don't want the C to move. I want, well, I want it to be always column C, so I'll add a, this sign here. And for F3, the same thing, but with the row. I want it to always be row number three. And same thing here. I want to fix, fix column D and row three. Now we can drag this to the right and down. Okay, so we're good. Let's see. All right, and so for the end date, what we need is we have the starting date plus the duration. And this starting date, I'll just add one, just because we'll start one day after this one's done. Let me drag this formula down, and there we go. Let's make sure everything's working right. So if C4 is greater than F3, let's just make it the other way around. If this date is greater or equal to the starting date and if this date is less or equal to the end date, then put an X. If not, leave empty. Close parenthesis. I uh, have to close this one as well. And let's fix the references. So now col column, this one would be the, the row. This is the column, row, and column. There we go. And for the end date here, we need to drag this formula down as well. And there it is. So now what we'll do is to the to the chart, we'll just add borders so just so that it looks better like this. And although this won't be visible, we'll just make it go to the center. And now for the so that we can see the chart better for where there's an X, we'll have that row or that cell be colored uh, something like red or yellow or orange. So let's see, new rule. So use a formula and well, sorry. we can just make it highlight cell rule, cells rules. It will be easier equal to, so if, if that's equal to X, then I want it to be any of these colors or we could just custom format the cell. Click OK. Uh, let me make sure we get this right. I click OK, apply, and there we go. Mm. We don't want the X to be visible, so we'll just have to make the X the same color as the background. So let me look for it here. So we wanted to ma match the exact color. For that, we just need to come here to the conditional formatting rules, manage rules format so we have we're using this is the color we're using this is the one we want so 198 239 206 so right here 198 235 235 196 I think that was it, 239, 206. Yeah. 
sorry. 239, 206. There we go. So I click OK, click OK. And now it looks better. Let's just add colors to this table. And something. Uh, we can make this larger. Just like this. And we'll make it. I think that looks good. Yeah, something like this. You can, of course, customize it any way you want. Make this smaller. And if you want this to be even better, maybe easier to look at, we can put a formula here. It says where we get the month. And or actually, we can do just the text, open parenthesis, this. And between quotations, we input MMM. So that's July. And actually, we don't even need the formula. We just need to take all this, have July, and then the same here for all of the months of the days in August. And there you go. Now we put in borders here. There it is. And we can also fix this column so that we can move to the right and still be able to see it. Over here. Unfreeze, we'll select this column, freeze paint, and there you go. So there it is. If this duration changes, we everything gets shifted to the right. Or if we if it goes down to one, everything gets shifted to the to the left. And that's it. So I hope you liked the tutorial. Please remember to like the video if, if it was helpful. If you want to see more content like this one, please remember to subscribe. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.